So this video is to help you get rid of some of your solid waste. This could be demolition debris, um, just old, I don't know, trash, couches, beds, whatever like that. Um, this particular station is the uh, MCUMA uh, Mount Olive Station in Flanders, New Jersey. There I was just going into the scale waste station. So as you drive in, um, they weigh your car and then you dump all your garbage and then they weigh it again. And then they'll measure how much, you know, change in weight. In this case, it was about a half a ton that I had in the back of my minivan. Um, yeah, so anyway, this is just a quick video. A lot of places, especially when I was in Bergen County, there was a place called Gata Recycling in Passaic County. Uh, where you could dump your trash there. Um, they wanted you to have a hard hat, a reflective vest, uh, I think safety glasses and gloves. Um, this place in Morris County, uh, Mount Olive Transfer Station in Flanders, does not seem to be nearly as um, strict on what you bring. So, you know, I just had like a orange shirt, but honestly, I was seeing people dumping from their pickup trucks or their vans, uh, not wearing anything. So um, it's up to you. I've never been yelled at so far and I've gotten more and more lax as I've, I've come here. Yeah, so these solid waste stations, I think they're, you know, national. You just gotta look up your local county. They will look up your driver's, they want you to show your driver's license when you enter. That's what I was doing at the beginning of this video. Uh, showing him a driver's license and they wanted to see a credit card too just to, so they know you're gonna pay for the junk you dump um, But yeah, look up your, your county and just search a uh, transfer station and you can look up hours um, In here Morris County. I think it's like from 7 a.m. To 3 p.m. Monday through Saturday um, But I'll put a link in the description below so I've only dumped here in Morris County and Bergen County where I've lived um, but yeah, it's pretty convenient. You just, here's how I'm dumping sheetrock, old wood, um, plaster. Yeah, you can see behind me couches, beds. So just things that people don't think that the dump, dump, the garbage men will take, uh, you can bring here as well. But you know, you go through like a flood or something, which is in this particular case, all this uh, wet drywall I had to take out, these doors, uh, like excessive construction debris I brought out and dumped. Yeah, and a good idea to uh, put a tarp down to save some of your, your, your if you have a personal truck you're using. Um, yeah, so just showing you, see there's a guy in the back of his pickup truck just dumping. So as soon as you dump, then you go back out and you weigh yourself. So this was Saturday morning. I think this was right around when they opened at 7 a.m. There was no line. Usually there's at least like five cars. Uh, this was a particularly good day. Um, but yeah, usually there's, there's some cars in, when I was in Bergen County, it was terrible. Sometimes I'd wait hours. Morris County has always been good. Only a couple minutes. So here, you know, I wait for the guy to, uh, to call me up from the scale and then I go back on the scale. He looks at the different differential. I think it was about a half ton. So a thousand pounds that, that I unloaded. And it's a hundred dollars a ton. So I paid like 50 bucks or I think it was like 60 bucks. And then there's some like $10 fee you have to pay as well. But uh, all in all, much better than renting like a $400 dump truck or something like that. Yeah, so 60, $59 I paid for, for all that junk that I, I got to dump. Um, but yeah, better than a dump truck. So if you only have a little bit, um, I definitely recommend finding a transfer station and getting, getting rid of your junk that way.